picked up this new Wet n Wild Venice Beach collection palette and I really wanted to do a sunset look with it. Um, so this is the look I came up with. If you like it, keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by using the NYX Jumbo pen in the shade Milk. And this is going to be a really good base so that the colors are brighter on my eye. I'm first going to start off by applying this yellow all over the lid. Also, I just wanted to say really quickly that these eyeshadows are pretty pigmented, but there is a little bit of fallout on some of the shadows, but it's kind of okay because you can just wipe it off after. That's why I always do my foundation and concealer after I do my eyes. So just make sure that you pet it on really well. Right here, I'm going to go in with my Sigma Fluffy Brush and I'm going to apply this bright pink color all over my crease as a transition shade. And I'm going to make sure that I just blend that in really well. So these colors ended up being more pigmented than I expected, so I went a little bit heavy handed right here, but I'm going to fix that later on in the tutorial. It's really important that your eyeshadows are blended, so just keep on blending. I'm going to use another fluffy brush by Sigma. This one's a little bit more dense um, to go in with that orange shade. And I'm just going to put that in the crease right under where we put the pink. Um, this is going to be for more of that orangey shade in the sunset. And also um, just to deepen up the crease a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. pencil brush and use this red shade to really define the outer V. So just make sure that you place that um, a little bit below the orange. Um, don't bring it in as far as you brought in the orange. Keep that on the very outer V of your eye. guys remember earlier I said that the pink was a little bit too harsh um, so I'm going to use this white to fix that. I'm going to blend the white a little bit down onto the pink to make it transition better. I'm going to use this NYX blue eyeliner and I'm just going to apply it on my lower waterline. And I think that obviously you guys can tell that this is the part of the look that completes the sunset. Um, this is supposed to be kind of like the water and I'm just gonna apply that on the bottom and I'm gonna kind of bring it down a little bit under my waterline just so that the next thing that we're gonna apply has something to stick on. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Endless Sea and I'm just gonna apply this under my eye using a Real Techniques I think it's a lip brush, maybe? Well, I'm going to use that to apply it, and I'm just going to make sure that I pack that on there. And I'm just going to use this highlighter by Becca Cosmetics um, in the shade Champagne Pop. And I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner of my eyes, and I'm going to make sure to pack that in there very well. Um, also, I forgot to mention that I already put my eyeliner on, and I just used the Inglot black eyeliner. It's the number 77. I really suggest that one to you guys. Then for my lips, I'm just going to apply this NYX matte lip cream in the shade London. And then this is the mascara that I applied on my upper and bottom lashes, and I just, I mainly like it for my bottom lashes. So I forgot to take a quip of the eyelashes I was wearing in this look, but I was wearing the eyelashes in the style Foxy by Coco Lashes. Also, if you guys like this look, please give it a thumbs up, a share, or a comment. Uh, thank you for watching.